Hello, everyone. Um, so I'm going to go um, and um, explain you a little bit about the MSc program um, of gastroenterology. So we've got uh, different pathways available. We've got the on-site, which are the students that um, come in person uh, to London, to Queen Mary University to sit with us. And this can be uh, an MSc. Uh, of one year length, full time, and uh, if you don't want to do the MSc but you want the postgraduate uh, diploma, you can also do that or in person on site. Uh, but instead of one year, that's going to be nine months. The reason why it's nine months and not one year is because the PGD, the postgraduate diploma, doesn't in include uh, the research um, project. Um, you, if you, if you are working full time, if you have your own um, uh, career going on, and you just cannot uh, spare one year to come to London, and you want to do it online, like many of uh, our students, that's totally fine. And again, you can do an MSc, um, full MSc in gastroenterology, but because uh, online, we always, always advise to do it part time especially if you're working and you have other commitments. Uh, but if you, again, if you don't want to do the research project, you just do a PGD, which can be uh, full-time uh, in nine months, or you can even do it part-time uh, within two years. Um, the program is, is gonna be suitable for uh, current clinicians, uh, aspiring gastroenterologists, and also intercalating medical students who have successfully completed, completed at least three years of their undergraduate degree. We also welcome specialist nurses and allied healthcare professionals who are looking uh, to further their understanding of gastroenterology, hepatology and nutrition. Like just for you to, um, just to go a little bit further on this, we've had, um, we've had uh, students in our course that were um, dietitians that were nurse endoscopists um, that um, that were working in uh, the neurogastro uh, department as uh, uh, physiologists or nurses. But in order to do that, if you're not a clinician, what we require is that you are working in the field of gastroenterology. It's not enough to say I, I am a dietitian. I've got you know, um, interest in doing an MSc. No, you need to prove that you are already um, familiar with the with the field of gastroenterology. Okay. Um, next slide, please. So, why should you take this course? I, I think that this is a very, very rewarding and interesting course. To be honest, I, I might be a little bit biased, but you know, it's, it's really good. It's the longest established program of, it, of its kind, and it was set up by Professor Dane Parvin Kumar. I'm sure that you are all familiar with the uh, Professor Dane Par Parvin Kumar. She has, uh, she's a worldwide expert. She has written so many textbooks. Um, in medicine, she's an expert in celiac disease. Um, it, it offers something really good is that it offers flexibility because, as I said, many, most of our distance learning students, they are studying alongside other working commitments. So that's something doable. And it might be that you spend two years, well, with a bit of, you know, uh, um, it requires a sacrifice and quite a lot of hours of dedication and study, but that that's a very high degree to, to end up with, so really worthwhile. Um, so we've got a very varied teaching faculty. It's made of clinical and non-clinical uh, academics from Barton de London School of Medicine. And um, we've got experts in the field of hepatology, of pediat pediatric gastroenterology, of Crohn's disease. So th they are, they are uh, academics, um, you know, doctors that you might have uh, encountered when you're reading some of the latest research about, about a field in gastroenterology because, you know, they're very uh, worldwide renowned uh, members of the staff. Uh, it is approved by the BSG, the British Society of Gastroenterology. 
And if you are an on-site student, you, you can receive hands-on endoscopy training, but let me just explain you this. It's not on patients, it's not on the endoscopy unit. We've got an um, endoscopy simulator, which is a um, computer uh, program. I, I myself, I do this. Uh, I'm in charge of doing this. And um, just to clarify that it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't grant you with uh, any endoscopy certificate, uh, but what it does, it, it grants you with like the basic skills um, in endoscopy, uh, but what by working in an endoscopy simulator. So the structure of the teaching and, and the assessment uh, for the BGD and also for the MSc, there is six compulsory modules. Um, one is called Basis of GI Diseases, uh, another one is called uh, Introduction to Endoscopy and Gastrointestinal Investigations, uh, another module is uh, Liver and Pancreatic Disease, uh, another one is Adult GI Diseases, Neurogastroenterology, Pediatric and Adolescent uh, uh, GI, uh, and uh, Nutritional uh, Diseases and GI Infections. The modules are assessed by a coursework assignment, uh, the coursework can be an essay. For example, in the endoscopy module, the coursework is um, a poster, design and presentation. And every module, uh, as, apart from the coursework, it also has uh, an end of term written examination. The coursework uh, stands for 30% of the final mark of the module, and the written examination is 70% uh, of the final grade. Um, the MSc is the same as, I'm, I, I, as I mentioned before at the beginning of, of the presentation. It is the same six modules, but it also includes a research project. Uh, the research project um, includes a, a written dissertation of up to 10,000 words and also a viable presentation at the end of the school year in September. You'll be taught by internationally recognized academics in a variety, you know, with a variety of methods, including, including seminars, we do lab practice sessions, self-directed learning, tutorials, case presentations and discussions, and we <laughs> support our teaching always by the latest uh, reading list and journal papers. Please, next slide. And just to finish the, what it is the presentation, just to let you know that the entry requirement is an MBBS or basic medical degree. However, as I have said before, there are exceptions on this. Uh, they are, uh, we have had, as I said before, we have had uh, uh, students that were already uh, on the field of gastroenterology. They were not doctors, but they were dietitians, nutritionists, they were uh, nurses. So if you have any doubt about your um, CV being suitable, please feel free to contact us. You know, uh, we are always happy to review it with you or have a talk with you and uh, let you know what we think, you know, before you embark in the um, arduous process of um, admissions. But I really encourage you, you to apply, you know, it's a very, you know, well, it's a, it's a very, very good course. You learn a lot of things. And if you are thinking of a future career in gastro, um, that definitely is um, the way to go. Okay, so I think that's all from me, but I would really like you to ask me anything. You can you can write it in the chat if you, if you think it's, I think it will be easier if you write it in the chat and I can go through every single uh, question. I don't think we have any scholarships for um, overseas. I can send you a link to our scholarships page. Um, you can have a look on there to see if there's yeah. any that you might be eligible for. So is there an IMG? Um, the international? Yeah, international. 
I've put a link up to our scholarships page so you can go and have a look on there um, and see if there are any that you might be eligible for. Um, if nobody has any more questions, maybe I could, I've left the email address, our email address in the chat. If you do think of any questions, you, you're more than welcome to email them in to us. Yeah, let's do that. So, you know, just um, again, let, did, shall I put my email address as well? I mean, yeah. I'm happy to, I'm happy to respond to any, you know. Uh, yeah, let me just uh, put my, I'm happy to respond to any question, you know, about the content of the program or anything, um, anything that you might have. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I hope that, um, that you all go for it and hopefully we will all see you soon. Yeah. Okay then. Bye. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Rest of the day. Bye. Bye. Bye.